How are we doing, everyone? And welcome to another movie talk where today we're talking about a claymated film called Mary and Max that a friend had me watch. Uh, it was directed by Adam Elliott and it stars three of the main characters. It's starring uh, Barry Humphreys, narrates most of the movie. Uh, Tony Collette is Mary. And then Philip Seymour Hoffman is Max. And then we'll give Bethany Whitmore a call out. She plays younger Mary in the story. So. Overall, this story is just about a younger girl named Mary who, through her life, is just bored, essentially, and reaches out to find a pen pal to get out of her normal life and try something new, and she reaches out into this phone book, finds a random person in New York whose name is Max, and she sends him a letter talking about what she does in her life, what she's experiencing, and things like that. Um, <clears throat> so... Uh, when the letter gets to Max, he's very surprised. Uh, he's not a normal dude overall is what it's pretty much understood. And uh, he messages her back. And even though she tells him she is nine, he says a bunch of stuff that a adult probably shouldn't be telling to a nine-year-old. Um, this movie is pretty heavy-handed. Uh, it's not very nice. Mary's mother is an alcoholic. It's very obvious about it. Uh, Mary herself suffering with some forms of depression, and then Max, as you learn later, having Asperger's syndrome. I think I said that right. Um, but overall, the movie does have a positive twist to it at a point. They don't try to just hearken down on the sad stuff. They actually focus on some of the good stuff that comes from it, like recognizing that who you are isn't a bad thing. So a big theme in the movie is Max accepting who he is and being happy with who he is, uh, and Mary having to do the same thing almost throughout the movie. Um, but it does heavily hand you some dark, dark topics, whether it's from the death of Mary's father in the early stages of the movie to later the alcoholism and drug use that gets dealt in this movie. And <laughs> that's how I can sum it up, is even though it is claymation, this movie gets really dark at points, like very, very dark, and it can be hard to watch and a little awkward at times because of that, because I think people typically expect Claymation to be like lighthearted and for kids, and it isn't always, and he used this medium to tell a very dark story that does, I will say, end on a pretty light note, and I enjoyed the ending. Uh, it's not super happy, but it's not like depressing and do me at the end um it does have very beautiful beautiful music uh i really enjoy it there's nothing that really stuck out but it fits the theme of the movie uh barry humphreys does a great job narrating a lot of the movie is mainly uh mary and max talking over their like written letters so it's more focused on the letters that are written than the real life stuff um, so you're not going to see a lot of like scenes where people are talking to each other. It happens a few times, but most of the time it's going to be Mary and Max talking over their letters or Barry Humphreys describing what's happening in the world. Um, other than that, the, I do think it looks great, but I also think it looks horrifying at times. Uh, this guy's designs are nightmare feel and I could imagine him doing a horror claymation film if he so chose. But I don't know if I would watch it, because from his literal, I don't know if you'd call this a slice of life or drama or what, but from this film alone, I'm terrified, and it's not even the horror genre. Horror genre. Um, but yeah, I decided to sit down and watch this with a couple friends. Uh, a friend recommended it. We have a movie night where we recommend movies. That's where I've gotten some of the last movie talks I've done. Um, and it's been enjoyable, but as soon as the friend that recommended this recommended it, I knew it was going to be a little bit darker than I was in for, but it was also still, I'll be honest, it was still very enjoyable. And like I said, uh, it's interesting to see this format take on dark topics such as alcoholism, such as drug use, such as, uh, Asperger's syndrome. Uh, it's interesting. It's a neat way to take it on but it also i guess you could say for some people might disconnect them because i know a lot of people who if they're not actual humans they're not really going to connect with the idea that the movie is getting across which is a shame because i think the movie does a pretty dang good job of getting its message across to you by the end um 
it's also just very fun because there's a good amount of comedy in it to try and lighten the mood of the movie with Mary and Max and like the dumb things they do like Mary loves sweet condensed milk and Max loves chocolate hot dogs which is such a weird thought that a thing like a chocolate hot dog would exist and I'm sure someone went out and made one because of this movie but uh yeah so if you're in the market for some chocolate hot dogs this might be the movie for you uh and yeah that that's pretty much the gist of the movie so if you're intrigued the thoughts are it's a movie about a nine-year-old girl who does grow up throughout the movie uh sending messages back and forth between her and her pen pal in new york max who um yeah essentially you watch both of these characters grow up you mainly watch mary grow up max doesn't change much throughout the film and their relationship as they go through trials tribulations with their friendship even though they're miles apart mary being in australia max being in america um yeah but it was definitely enjoyable it's definitely one of the definitely one of the more enjoyable movies i've watched this year albeit a little dark and disturbing at times um other than that if there is a movie or anything that you like if you liked mary and max feel free to leave a comment and talk about it down below um yeah, and other maybe if there's other claymation movies that you like and you enjoy and you'd love to talk about, feel free to talk about it in the comments. Other than that, I'm TMG Pinty and have a good one.